Hello, boys, girls, and kerbals of all ages. So this is going to be a small update of my helicopter, best way to helico power your helicopter video. So if those, for those who of you have seen the part two of prop, uh, best way to power your propeller plane, I did a propeller configuration similar to what I did with this. But when I was doing that, I figured out a way to properly do coaxial um, rotors. So what your propellers in that case. So what you actually do for those who for those who have not seen the video, you pretty much take a uh, service bay and then you put one motor inside the service bay, kind of sticking out. I know part clipping. Don't get mad at me. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. Do the old inefficient way. And then do a traditional standard rotor on top as well. So in that way, um, they are fixed to a fixed point. One is not you know placed on top of each other like they originally were, so you don't have to derate your engines. Which I think is pretty nice, you know, being able to get full power of the engine, especially on, in doing this, I noticed that, you know, effective maximum rotation you're getting, it wasn't absolute, like, the RPM limit, but it was getting pretty close, it was, like, in the 400s when this thing was carrying over, and actually, performance-wise, this actually was able to put a little bit more, so if you notice over here, the flight, uh, the mass of this one is just short of 100 tons crazy um that is compared to the 93 tons that the transverse rotor can, um the 86 of the more chinook style my whole intermeshing which i i still like i still think it's a favorite of mine it's not as high performance this was number two this was 95 um tons well 96 tons really and then this is about that so it can carry about four more tons worth of material in terms of what I did. Now this very much was under limit, so maybe had I, if I push this up a little bit, maybe I'd be able to pull it out. I don't think it, I would to have been on this one. Maybe if it was more of an intermittent number, I would have qualified the same. But uh, yeah, that's how that works. So I personally really like this. Um, I'm going to change my recommendation from like, all right, what's going to be the best to this one just because it is higher performance. It is also easier to do. Um, I mean, the one disadvantage kind of I mentioned before was like, it is a little bit taller, but then again, you also don't have the ground clearance issues with this one. And it's just a lot easier to set up this. And also, I mean, hey, you this isn't like an exclusive thing on like, you know, these other designs Like you can stack this atop, atop all of them. So I actually should try doing that sometime. Make a what actually be really really funny is I make probably like do like a Chinook style one with intermeshing coaxial rotors. So in total, it'd probably be like eight motors or something like that. Um, if you're interested uh, in me making a video on that, uh, just shoot me a message in the chat. Remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.